G'day mate, work on that bench shaft Honda GX25. Now I had it running and it runs all right when it's cold. Um, as soon as I warm it up, it starts running funny. It's a brand new carby. Uh, where's the, there's a new carby just there. And it still wouldn't run right. It got to the point where it gets hot. It uh, wants to stall. I wrenched it up, leaned it out, tried all the tricks. Um, done the valves, adjusted all them. Uh, the intake and the exhaust there. So you got a, a time mark at the back. Rough, you, roughly, um, what was it? Point. Zero one O, I think it was. Can't remember now. But um, oh yeah, I got photo on my phone. That's what it was. Um, the cam goes to the back. Uh, where's the cam? Hang on, where's the cam? There's that cam. Oh, there it is there. So the cam sits up there, and there's a timing mark. Where's the timing mark? There's an the arrow. So that's just all up. And the arrow, um, as you guys can see that, there's an arrow just there, just top, right top there. You, you turn it over until the arrow gets top dead center, and make sure those the tappets are a little loose, like they can move a little bit, and you meant to adjust it when they're cold. Um, one's meant to be 0.080, uh, 0 .080 and the other one's meant to be 0.01. One, I think it was, but I put in point one zero. Um, but it turned out what the problem was. I, I, I can't miss it. So if I come across the problem. You know, I don't lie. The GX thirty five that runs properly and you know, no problem at all. I think what was wrong with this one, what caused this? It doesn't hadn't had all changed probably at all since brand new. Which all these um, little sort little um, motors don't like having no oil in them at all. And it's overhead cam, so. Um, Got a, a non um, timing belt, probably a, out of a Formula One racing car. Um, so that things last, but you still have to service them. So what I did find was wrong was the intake valve. Under the exhaust jet, where's the exhaust valve? There's the intake valve. Another way you'd be able to see this. A little closer. So you can see the seat we've been seeing. It's small and small and then it gets wide again, so it's shine. Really wide. It gets small again. So I think when it got hot, um, it starts right open. I haven't looked at the exhaust yet. Well, the exhaust looks like it's sitting open at all completely. There's no mark on that at all. And there's a bit of a mark. I think you guys can see that. So, yeah, well, so even when it did run, it didn't run nice and um, smooth. It ran, um, so even when it did idle, um, it didn't idle nice and smooth. It, um, it ran like a hairy dog. Um, so I thought myself, um, Maybe a, a fin was broken on the flywheel, or part of the flywheel was off. It really bad, like, the whole thing would shake around like crazy. But when it pulled the air filter off, it blew out um, fumes out the air filter or out of the car, it, like backfired almost. I thought that's weird, because they shouldn't um, backfire, so I thought, oh yeah, burn out the valve. Then it came good for a bit, and then, then it played up. But I never pulled the muffler off and had a little bat, but it just didn't sound right, so, I looked at the piston, the piston's fine. So that piston's a nice piston. There's a couple of little marks roughly inside the cylinder, not much. Try and zoom you guys in. Uh, come on, phone work, I've got any oil in my hands. So you see the piston's nice, I didn't know I could do that. So, okay. So the piston's pretty good um, condition, rings and all that. There's some marks in the cylinder, but nothing really to talk about, but it's valves. So if you've got one of these guys, um, get your valves adjusted. Have look up some videos on YouTube, there's plenty of videos. They're really tiny. Uh, you meant to do when it's cold. Um, get your line, yeah, mark, um, tiny marks lined up. So yeah, the top of the sand with your valves are completely shut. Adjust them. 
Um, I, 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 no, it's about three million Alanka, I think. It is put in there, make sure it's nice and you know, a snug, not for hard, but just a snug fit. You, you work it out. But yeah, make sure that's right and change your oil. Most motors will last for a long time if you change your oil, but these don't have an oil filler and then you have about 30 mils or 40 mils of oils, basically nothing, but um, that's all I need. Oil change and look after by things. And change your air fills too, because if you're sucking in dirt and dust from um, doing your mowing and stuff, you'd be surprised how much crap goes through your cylinder. And these, that's all these guys, these little motors have got. An air filler and no oil filler, that's it. So you buy this stuff, you should last you 20 years really, until that time belt breaks, really, that's why I look at it. But um, people don't look after this stuff. All right, guys, over and out.